Okay, ready. Okay, okay, this is old Cameron. I'm thinking about the problems in Ferguson. For a lot of people know by now, my father was a reserve police officer in the Los Angeles Police Department for nearly four decades. And my father would say sometimes that everything is exactly as it looks when you come to a crime scene or when you see what's going on in the community, which she said was also a very rarity because how often are both sides completely absolutely right and everybody right about what they're saying about the situation? Yeah, that's one of the things there. It, but you have, in, in Ferguson, you have good white people and you have black black people. Bad white people. You have good black people, bad white people, which makes it a normal community in the United States. You have people coming in from the outside trying to push their political agenda, which is exactly it's been going on since my father, since the 1920s in this country. They said that, uh, you know, was the kid in question an angel? Yes. Was he a, a bad kid? Yeah. That's called a normal teenager. And this kid, that's where it's been since my kid was born. But um, I said, the, my father knew good police officers that when they, you push the button, you say something to them, or you do something, it just, they blow their top and all of a sudden they became raging uh, thugs, which is what gives the police such a bad reputation. I said this morning that the indications are that he was, his hands were up in the air when he was shot, which therefore, and then unfortunately he also said, if you believe what is being said in the news, and you have to more or less because that most of the people are agreeing on the same thing that uh, it is now being listed as Ferguson Bull, the police officer was an accident. Uh, he got shot twice in the head. And but in a and again, he was falling forward, which means his, his back was to the officer. That's the thing. I remember, okay, most people don't understand why at Earp and Tombstone, Arizona, was let off on the murders of the Lau on, on at the OK Corral because they said that people had thrown their hands up in the air and were surrendering. Well, no, because the bullet wounds show that their hands had to have been down, probably on their guns, when they were shooting, when they were shot and killed. In this case, the forensic evidence show his hands were up in the air because the way the bullet went in, the way the bullet comes out. So, if you look like, uh, what's happening is, you've got, like, the Rodney King thing all over again, with a bad with a police officer that lost his temper, and everything, it, 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 what you have in the nation at the moment, you have the Chicanos replacing Afro-Americans as the apple of the Democratic Party's eye. They resent it, and the resentment is boiling out before the election. It's just like Chicago all over again when the riots hit the streets before the, you know, after the Democratic Party con at convention, and they boiled over until the election and basically ended up with Republicans winning a lot of seats. Because they're not going to blame this on Republicans. They're not going to blame it on lack of gun control. They're going to blame it on how to control police departments that are being ran by uh, people that are getting supplied by heavy duty military equipment. But, uh, it, it's going to be interesting seeing how the thing goes in Ferguson because if, if, they say, if the reporting is accurate and you have to assume the feds have nothing to lie about, because the FBI is fairly confident and fairly truthful, then it was murder. And like I said, it, that the whole country is going to blow up over this one. How's that one?